So, Barbara, this is a little bit different from your past history of filmmaking. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, given that you've done lots of interesting German artistic films, uh, are there different muscles that this involves in terms of doing TV with totally. science fiction? Can you talk yeah. about the contrast? Because I know your work from yeah. your... Uh, I mean, the, 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 main, the main thing is that in a movie, you know the end. <laughs> you develop your character, you know, you know what's happening, you put little traces, little breadcrumbs in the beginning so that you know you can end up there. Um, and that doesn't happen in a TV show. You don't know where you will go, so you have to work in a completely different way. You can't do like a lot of research. I did a lot of research yeah, great movie, for by the Rosa way. Luxemburg, whatever, you know, but um, uh, in this you can't. I mean, I inform myself about time travel and, and physicists, that's true. But that's about it. And then the hours, people, I admire these television <laughs> actors, the hours they work, you know, in these films that I've made after shooting, you went out for dinner, and uh, you know, you had a nice weekend. Well, we go out for breakfast after <laughs> yeah. 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 Saturday. You didn't make everybody in the cast watch some of the Hannah Arendt or... Uh, the, no. Yeah, because it's a brilliant movie. Yeah. Yeah, I will. <laughs> now you're here from what I have no, time. No. Yeah, when he has time. Nobody yeah. has time to watch movies, yeah. I think. So was filming the second season different than the first? Do you feel like a little bit, do you feel less pressure because you guys got renewed and you've got a little bit more chance to actually like really get you know farther into the, the story? Pressure. It's just the same job either way. We just show up. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the pressure is, is elsewhere. Uh, for me, it was, um, it's, it's such a different purposing of the role like in, in season one he was just a straight up antagonist uh, and now I think they're retaining a certain level of the antagonism but they also in order to there are there are worse guys out there than Deacon and I think I think in order for me to to be part of the ensemble more uh, they had to change the dynamics that they, that he has with with a lot of the characters yeah, yeah. for me it's it's uh, I'm more comfortable <laughs> Also, my English is getting I'm more comfortable. I had a lot of science talk, you know. Uh, my favorite moment, if I could share a story, <laughs> we're on the plane flying back from San Diego and she's reading one of the scripts and she leads over to me and she goes, what is pistol whipped? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on an airplane explaining what it means to be pistol whipped. <laughs> Too far. Yeah, you help me a lot. A lot of <laughs> it makes stuff. me so happy. A lot of stuff. I, I mean, he helps moment. me with like just references that happen in the script. Yeah. He says, "Oh, you know, this is what this guy in time in uh, in uh, Star Trek said. Oh, this is like Back to the Future. Oh, these he guys are total. Pack, they pack the he shelf full of references. He is a total connoisseur and knows the history. Yeah, I got of my nerd color. card years yeah, ago. You're geek, you're geek culture yeah. number. Yeah, wow, he's really deep, good. I'm deep in it. Yeah. No, for me, it's it's. I'm, I'm feeling more comfortable. No, because it was just everything was was new to me, and uh, and you know, sitting in this bunker in the dark would be really oh, horrible if you wouldn't have such nice colleagues. That's really I mean, good. It, it, it would be really. Sometimes I think of the how would it be and if I had the like, yeah the crew and everybody is just really really really. I nice. get a hug from the sound guy every time. Yeah, right, right, me <laughs> so too. Great. <laughs> so great. Did you have different thoughts on time travel before? Um, I had you know, no thoughts <laughs> of time travel. I was never thinking about time travel. <laughs> Only in a very, you know, flippant way. Oh, I would love to go to the 19th century, to the 14th century. Or when I played historical parts, like I played a nun of the 11th century. Yes, now I, they ask me just, well, where would you want to go? I would want to go there and see how wrong I was or how right I was. Probably would smile. Yeah. Those old days, we always think they're fragrant. So where would you want to go? She's going to the 14th century. Yeah. Oh, I, you know, I would, I, I wouldn't mind touring turn of the century, uh, London or Paris. That's sort of the seal. Uh, <laughs> that would be pretty incredible. I have a, I also have a rare obsession with, um, with turn of the century Coney Island and really? like uh, George Tillieu and Steeplechase Park. And my daughter's name is Tilly. Um, I, I would love to have just. Just walked around Steeplechase Park. Uh, someday I'd love to do a biopic of that man. Um, but yeah, so I would I would travel to Coney Island circa 1897. Yeah. I would love to go to pre-Nazi Germany oh. to see how that madness came about. I've read so many books about it and don't still understand it how it was possible what happened there. So maybe if you were there, maybe you could understand it. 
that era of Hildegard von Bingham was a pretty bizarre period. Too. Yeah, the history of Manchester. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, you mentioned the script. Uh, the script uh, has there any a lot of references in pop culture because Terry is, is a geek and and maybe we have a hint of okay maybe this looks like in the script no it looks like by Back to the Future or this shot he looks throws, like he throws <laughs> he throws references in there mm -hmm. and the little Easter eggs in there and then there's a lot of still Easter eggs from uh, the movie itself mm -hmm. from Twelve Monkeys the glasses that she wears uh, when she when she initiates the split sequence. Um, those are from Legette, right? Yeah, yeah. Legette. Yeah. Legette. Mm -hmm. 